All right, welcome in this video. I'm going to show you real quick how to do a whole bunch of really cool effects. So check it out. We've got one planet in front of another. We've got a comet. We've got the light shooting out from the top of the planet and we've got the atmosphere underneath those planets. So to do the one planet on top of the other, you're going to need something flat like a CD to be the planet that's in front. This is an easy way of doing it. You can cut out circles of paper or of plastic if you want different sizes. All right, so let's make our pattern. Just got simple white and then black on top, crinkle up my newspaper, brush it over, and there's a texture for our planet. So if that's dry enough, and mine is, uh, make sure yours isn't sticky because that CD's flat, remember? So you put the CD underneath the plate. And let's fill in our sky with black to keep the sky pretty simple so that we can see our effects. And we'll add some stars by spraying some paint on a piece of poster board and shaking it really hard over the uh, painting. All right, let's take our planet, our first planet off. And remember when we're shading that, we gotta be careful with the hole in that CD. So I'm gonna cover it up with some paper. If you don't use your CD to make suns or anything like that, you can just put some duct tape over it and then that won't bug you. Uh, take off the CD and then we can do that one. And there we have one way of doing a planet in front of another. So there's our basic design. Now let's put that planet with the atmosphere at the bottom. Do that just simply by streaking the paint across. Start with some white paint and then using some transparent blue and I'll use a little turquoise to make that kind of a blue-green planet and then just Add a little bit of that uh, transparent blue over that, fade it out, and one stroke over the top with some white. And we have a planet with some atmosphere. And now let's make those planets look a little slicker by making that shadow a little bit more gradual. And you can do that by adding, if you need a little bit of black, and maybe a little bit of transparent blue. Now you need colors that are really easy to control. So in the United States, um, you would use a Molotov transparent blue and a color place black or a Molotov semi-transparent black. All right, so let's make a little light in the sky. I've got a, a little bit of white up there. I put transparent blue over it and then through the hole in my CD, I sprayed some white and we have an interesting little sun up there. Now let's make our light shooting out of the top of the planet. You do that by bouncing a nice soft white paint like color place or Molotov off of a piece of poster board. I'm not spraying directly onto my painting. I'm spraying onto the poster board and it's bouncing off. And I've got those three lines on top of my planet and the one in the middle is nice and long. You can add a little color to this. And if you've got transparent colors, I've got a little fluorescent pink there. So I put a little bit of that on top. And then I'm gonna reinforce the center one with just a little bit of white again. Notice where my paint is going, right onto the poster board. It's even dripping off and then bouncing onto there. And look, when I take that off, it's shooting out the top of the planet. That's a pretty cool. Nice little effect. I'm just gonna add a little bit of white there because some uh, something fell into it. And let's make a comet. So I've got a piece of poster board. I've got a nice long uh, tail for it there. I've, I've used enough paper to create a nice long tail for my comet. I fold it really tight at the front and I spray into it. I'm spraying towards the front and I'm spraying onto the poster board. It's bouncing off onto my painting, creating this comet with a nice long tail. So there's a bunch of cool, simple effects and use them in your paintings and enjoy. All right, so give these techniques a try and then come to spraypaintartsecrets.com to see how we take those effects and take them to the next level and sign up to be a basic member, sign up to be a gold member to learn all kinds of cool stuff that you can do with these simple techniques. And your spray paint art will be amazing. See you there. Ciao. Thank you.